Sirikon hypersonic missile to enter service with Russian Navy this year. The ship-borne Sirikon hypersonic missile will be accepted for service in the Russian Navy this year. Alexander Leonov, CEO and chief designer of the Rutov Research and Production Association of Machine Building, told reporters when asked about whether the Sirikon hypersonic missile had its range limit of over 900 kilometers, as reported by the Defense Ministry in the wake of the Admiral Goshkov frigate's deployment in distant waters, he replied, You know, I don't not talk about performance characteristics. I can confirm what our military says, while it is not accepted here to elaborate. But this is not the maximum range. The missile is set to be accepted for service in the Navy this year. Standard procedures in this work are underway, the chief executive said. The missile is mass-produced and the cutting-edge frigate Admiral Goshkov has already received it as its armament. The issue of accepting the hypersonic weapon for service is a purely organizational issue, he explained. A standard set of procedures is underway to formalize documents on accepting the Sircon for service. There is nothing unusual about that, the chief executive said. The Sircon hypersonic missile was engineered and is produced by the Research and Production Association of Machine Building based in the town of Rutov in the Moscow region. The first test launches of the Sirkon hypersonic missile from the underwater carrier, the nuclear-powered submarine Severodvinsk, were carried out.